We're going to talk a little bit today about some of the stuff when you're restoring your Jeep, like the finishing touches type deal on the stuff. Uh, one, of the th one of the things that we had done was uh, on the back of a lot of old Jeeps that had said four-wheel drive on the back, on the tailgate, uh, on the wagons, the trucks, and the CJs and sand deliveries, and we had the stencils made up. There was there was a stencil that was laid against the body panel and just spray painted on. And uh, even when they were put on from new, they weren't exactly clean and crisp. There was a little overspray on them, a little fuzzy around the edges, but that's how it was. And so that's why when we did them, we made the original style up because when you do the cutout ones, they look too perfect, you know. And that's really, if you're restoring and want to keep original, that's what you don't want to really do that. So the the earlier stuff, like around 19, in 1945 and 46 for the CJ2As, uh, what we found is there was no four-wheel drive on the stencil on the tailgate and the willies wasn't painted on the on the hood and the windshield and the tailgate. Around 1947 it seems like they started to do that and this is the, the stencil they used on the tailgate. The, a 2A tailgate that has the, the stencil on the side over here. That's where it was located and this one has the willies painted on it. And then also on the old on the old Willys trucks, the early trucks had the WO emblem in them and that was painted. And then the four wheel drive was the same one used on the 2A was over here. Around 1954 from what we can tell by things that we've seen, then they came out with a different stencil. Now on the Willys wagons and uh, sedan deliveries that said Jeep four wheel drive on it. But then uh, on the CJ's and on the pickup trucks, it only had the four-wheel drive part on it. Here's an old original station wagon tailgate that was never painted. The, the Jeep four-wheel drive, that's where it was located. It's sitting on the side, so, but it was on the passenger side. A later Jeep truck tailgate where they had the Jeep stencil on and then the four-wheel drive was over here. They only had the four-wheel drive and not the, the Jeep part on. And you can see on this thing here, this is an original tailgate I got out of an old Jeep dealer. The, the white paint is fuzzied in here because it wasn't clean and crisp. You know, it's a little fuzzed over here and stuff. So if you even put this on and you don't get it perfect, that's the way they were from new anyway. On the Willys wagons and trucks starting around 1950, on the side of the hood they started putting this emblem on that said four-wheel drive. Uh, there were chrome emblems. The original ones were like stamped stainless with little uh, tabs sort of spot well on the back but the new ones are die cast chrome they still look almost the same do the same job but it was easier to make them this way than to have them stamped back out on the Willys wagons and trucks starting around 1950 on the side of the hood they started putting this emblem on that said four wheel drive uh, there were chrome emblems the original ones were like stamped stainless with little uh, tabs sort of spot well on the back but the new ones are die cast chrome they still look almost the same do the same job but it was easier to make them this way than to have them stamped back out this is the hood emblem that was used like from 1950 and up on the uh, on the Willys trucks and sedan deliveries uh, the station wagons used this like 1950, 51, 52 and then about 1953 the wagons started having a bigger hood ornament on them. It was a three-winged hood ornament. Uh, but the trucks and uh, sedan deliveries, from mostly everything I could tell, always kept the small one. Uh, there is controversy if there was ever really an emblem inside there. I had found some brand new ones of these at an old Jeep dealer one time that I opened them out of the box. They were never opened before because I had to cut the tape and there was nothing in the center of them. I don't have one of them handy to show you right now, but uh, over the years, a couple different outfits made some little W.O. emblems you could put in there. That makes them look nice. But nobody's making this three-winged ornament, and they are hard to find, because most of them, when you get them, they're all f full of pit marks and stuff, and, uh, and then they're hard to get re-chromed. But these here, smaller ones, these are available in reproduction, and they're really nice reproductions at a real fair price. Just putting them, putting them up under the dash.